Jewish community centers nationwide have been receiving bomb threats in waves, and yesterday they hit Arizona. Cronkite News reporter Natalie Taranjoli spoke with leaders in the Jewish community about the impact. Arizona has long been home to about 100,000 Jews, but one rabbi in Phoenix told me Arizona has never seen anti-Semitism to the degree that it is being seen today, so they aren't taking these threats lightly. The Jewish Community Center of North America reports the number of bomb threats to community centers has now grown to 100, and that's just since the beginning of the year. There have now been five waves of threats made in 33 states and two Canadian provinces. There is unprecedented anti-Semitism in America that we're experiencing today. Unprecedented anti-Semitism here in Arizona that we haven't seen before. On Monday alone, there were 31 bomb threats made to community centers and day schools, including centers in Scottsdale and Tucson. The JCC of North America released this statement in response. Anti-Semitism of this nature should not and must not be allowed to endure in our communities. The Justice Department, Homeland Security, the FBI, and the White House, alongside Congress and local officials, must speak out and speak out forcefully against this scourge of anti-Semitism impacting communities across the country. Yanklowitz said historically Jews have felt safe in America and Arizona. While the threats are concerning, they say they are not afraid. Unfortunately, the Jewish people has a very long history of pogroms and crusades and Holocaust, and we're very strong from that history. So rather than be afraid, our community is uh, prepared to respond in full force. The Anti-Defamation League of Arizona calls the bomb threats disturbing. There's fear, because it's not just the institution that, um, that it affects, it's also the neighborhood and it's also the entire community. We will never take a threat lightly. We'll always take it seriously. At the same time, we'll never back down in fear. The Anti-Defamation League of Arizona advises Jewish community centers and day schools to remain vigilant and make sure they're following their security policies. In the Broadcast Center, Natalie Taranjoli, Cronkite News.